What's up gals and pals, it's your boy Vino and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in full fall cocktail mode and I've got another fall banger for that ass. This one is actually a riff on a classic cocktail. This is an apple cinnamon whiskey sour. So make sure you stick around because we're going to boogie down. All right, guys, so like I said, today we are gonna be making a apple cinnamon whiskey sour. I got my cheese sheet here. Let's look at what's in the sauce, all right? First thing we're gonna be doing is two ounces of rye. Now, I'm using Rain House rye because this is a pretty sweet cocktail and I feel like the, uh, the bite that you get from this particular rye is great because it's 100 proof, 50% ABV. So, you know, it adds a little more oomph to your cocktail, you know what I'm trying to say? So we're gonna do two ounces of our rye, but if you wanna use bourbon or something like that, or you know, just a regular old rye, feel free to do so. But if you want a little extra bite, you go for the, uh, the, the 50 proof here. Then we're gonna do, what are we gonna do next? We're gonna do two ounces of apple cider. Now I know in some parts of the world it's called apple juice, apple cider in some other places, so apple cider is a beer and so, you know, whatever. This is apple juice, fresh pressed apple juice, unfiltered, I guess that's I guess that's what apple cider is, right? So anyway, figure out what part of the world you're from and what it is you need, and <laughs> use uh, two ounces of that, all right? Okay, delish. Okay, then we're gonna do one ounce of a lemon juice. All right, that's also gonna help cut back a little bit of that sweetness. Beautiful. Then you're gonna do uh, one ounce of cinnamon syrup. Now, this is super easy to make, guys, all right? Uh, all you need to do is get a one cup of water, one cup of sugar, about three cinnamon sticks, bring it to a boil, and then let it simmer for a couple minutes, and then after that, take it off the fire and just let it steep for about two hours, and before you know it, <sighs> cinnamon syrup, my friends. Anyway, one ounce of this. I mean, this is, this is fall. This is apple pie, all right? One ounce of that. Okay, beautiful. Then we're going to do um, one egg white. All right, there you go. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do a dry shake, which means we're gonna shake it without any ice. All right, let's do that really quickly and aggressively. <laughs> Aggressive. All right, and then with this bad boy, I just I like to release the gas up top. And now we can open up the whole thing and add our ice. All right. Beautiful. And then I'm just gonna take uh, my big ice cube here and put it into my old fashioned glass. You could serve this in a, uh, uh, any glass you want, in a coupe, Nicanor, however you wanna do it, all right? Let's shake it up one more game. This time with ice. All right, guys, I think we shook that enough. I gave it a good uh, 15 second shake, all right? So now we're gonna pour that into our glass here. I'm gonna just do a double strain. Now you don't really need to because there's already ice in the glass, but I do like to keep any of the ice shards away, you know? All right, look at that foam we already have. You can tell this one's gonna be froth, hey! All right, there we go. So we are all the way at the top. Woo, that's gonna look good in the close up because that is, that's hey! All right, so there we have it, folks. This is our whiskey sour. As you can see, that is very, frothy, very foamy. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna taste some cinnamon. You could take some freshly grated. I just use the stuff in the bottle. And we're gonna sprinkle a little bit on top, all right? You can see the layers starting to form. Oh yeah, that's looking real nice like, all right? And then I'm going to take that little uh, uh, dehydrated uh, apple slice that I have here, lay that right on top. And there you have it, folks, an apple cinnamon whiskey sour. All right, so now let's give this bad boy a sippy sip. As you can see, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's almost a shame to drink it, but you know what? I gotta do what I gotta do for you guys on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. The egg white picked up some of the cinnamon. Here we go. Cheers. I love my job. <laughs> Seriously, this is so good. Guys, that is absolutely fantastic. I mean, the cinnamon, the apple, you get that lemon. This is, I could have called this an apple pie uh, uh, um, whiskey sour. I mean, we might as well have. Um, this is so 
freaking good. And like I said, I'm using the Rittenhouse there. I'm getting the bourbon, it's cutting a little bit of that sweetness. Um, this is absolutely, it has a little bit of that spiciness to it. And you think about it, right? Like, you know, when you, when you do like an apple crumb pie, you know, there is a little bit of spiciness to that. This is so unbelievably delicious. Really, really good. Mm. I've been having a good run so far on my four cocktails. That's why Vino loves four cocktails so much. They tend to come out pretty damn delicious. Anyway, folks, this is absolutely delicious. Give it a shot, give it a try. You will not be disappointed. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, and if you like this video, if you like this cocktail, please remember to press like, to subscribe, and to share. Sharing is caring. And remember, folks, when life gives you lemons, you make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.